Hey, 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 everybody. Miss Jail is here on this Saturday morning, July the 6th, 2024. What do you say? I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am. I'm having me a cup of coffee this morning, getting ready to snack on some stuff, but I thought I'd come on through and uh, put some put some sounds in your ear to give you something to contemplate, cultivate, properly meditate, and properly ruminate about. And that's about, uh, let's talk about cause and effect again, because that's that that sets the ball rolling, okay, cause and effect. And so many people are, so many people have dismissed it before, thought it was, uh, that thought it wasn't possible that they could be experiencing cause and effect. Um, and that cause and effect doesn't apply to them, meaning uh, that they are, you know, reaping uh, reaping a lot of uh, consequences of their uh, failure to understand theories, uh, I'm sorry, cause and effect. I put some videos out about it, you know, over the course of time. And, you know, uh, again, I give you, yeah, I'll, I give you my theories and opinion based on my experience. And that's what hopefully most everybody else is doing as well you know we need life experiences to know how cause and effect works because the more ex the more life experiences you have the more uh, I wouldn't say difficult challenging the more challenging your life is um, like, I, like I said let's see if we can use different words not use the same series of words all the time like difficult difficult is say not easy to endure okay that that's that sounds logical and challenging challenging is um requiring full use of one's abilities and resources i like that you know ambitious you know demanding not demanding but ambitious sounds good you know uh, uh persistent you know, so cause and effect. Well, cause and effect basically is, you know, you, you reap what you've sown. You cause something. You're going, anything that we do with our action and behavior starts a series of events to happen. No matter how simple, no matter how complex, we get it going. And when I say we, I, I mean we collectively and also we, I, us, you know, also individually. You know, it has to start individually. And I told you, like, stitching something together. It starts individually. And as it, as you continue to build upon it, it uh, shapes into, you know, it can shape into beautiful, something beautiful and something completely destructive. And, and you know, and thus we're in a madness right now. So what does that mean? That means something was caused earlier to bring the, bring us to these moments, which are dire and, um, you know, devastating, catastrophe. All of that is, uh, it's not fear. It's not a fear. It's, it's a result. Are we looking at results? And that's how you know. You know, it's so simple to uh, believe that your behaviors and actions does not affect other people, but it does. So, cause and effect. Okay, what does it say in here? Causality. Okay, it's basically what it says. Um, there's a lot of, some definitions here. It says, it's, something says here, uh, a concept we all learn in grade school. Did we? Did we? Okay, I don't do not recall such such things, but that's what I mean. It it probably was happening because it does. But you know, we there was maybe there was more to what we were supposedly supposed to learn. 
because it says here causality is an influence by which one event, process, state, or object contributes to the production of another event, process, state, or object. Okay, where the cause is partly responsible for the effect, and the effect is part partially dependent on the cause. Okay, so and it has here uh, some writers have held causality have held that causality is metaphysically prior to notions of time and space. Hmm. And it has here also causality is an abstraction that indicates how the world progresses. Okay. So if we were taught that in grade school, my goodness, where would we be? We wouldn't be where we are. So apparently it wasn't taught. Properly taught, I should say. Properly taught. Um We, we have been, and we, we are all, I, I'm sure most of us are agreeing, we have been given a misservice when it comes to educating ourselves, depending on others to do so. And a lot has to do with it, and it shows, it's showing its head now at, at the results that we're getting, you know, with our teachers being, being uh, uh, heavily... Uh, influenced by outside forces of people how you know these these very very commanding and very very demanding individuals are expecting so much you know from a teacher from a doctor from the, you know from you know, there's a lot of lot of extreme expectations on both ends on both ends it, it, and that's how I would, if I were you, I would always neutralize myself. What do I mean? Get in the center of it and neutralize it on both ends. Look at it from both ends. That's how you're supposed to do it anyway. And so certain things that some, some people have done in the past, and I'm not, you know, not necessarily revisiting the past, but I'm telling you, the effects of cause or the causality of things when you're causing something and that you're unaware of the effects that is 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 cause will cause here we are if we pay pay um be very concentrated be very present and focused on what is happening now we know that we're in the effects of something very devastating based on the action and behaviors of others or they lack thereof. So many people have had the opportunity to make difference, to make make this world a better place for all of us. But because of greed, arrogance and cockiness and 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 behaving ignorantly, here we are. And then and then keep in mind if you are that one in that pyramid of power, you know that that that's that elite power of uh, of whatever you want to call it, you know, where a lot of politicians are, celebrities are, you know, the influencer types, you know, all those titles and names. I'm telling you that that, that type of, those type of individuals that seem to be always in the middle of things, but always wanting to, you know, they're always interfering, always want to be the head of everything, want to be running the show, want to be in charge. Well, there's a lot of uh, individuals as such that do not apparently understand cause and effect. And so they get to a point in their lives and they're wondering, okay, how do I get, how did, how did I get here? A lot of us are going to be asking that question. We're going to say, well, how did I get here? And it's going to be terrifying for some. It's going to be joyful for others. That's where it usually is, you know, on the spectrum spectrum of things. That's why you need to stay kind of neutralized in what it means to have a joyful life and, you know, just kind of keep everything in perspective and not be so extreme about it. 
you know, the, the that part that always wanted to be in control, wanted to be powerful, wanted to be watched, wanted to be the center of attention, you know, that's a powerful drug for some people. You know, it's like a, uh, it, it has the same effect of, as um, some type of narcotic, that need for that kind of attention all the time, no matter where they go, no matter what they say. They can't stay out of the pop, the, the, the spotlight, and and usually they don't want to be held accountable for their cause, the causal effects of what they've done. They think most people will forget about it. Well, that's not going to no longer be possible. So, cause and effect is coming back to haunt a lot of people, and it's going to have a lot of people sitting isolated somewhere, stranded somewhere, stuck somewhere, you know, really, um, you know, reviewing their lives, you know, you know, on their own, on their own accord, but it, but because of the circumstances they'll be facing, they'll be sitting there wondering, okay, what could I have done to avoid all of this? Especially when you knew better. And yes, a lot of people do operate unconsciously. They claim they do not know what they do. You know, I told you that 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 phrase, you know, it has expired. You know, it, you know, I like I said, I don't, I'm not religious, but what's that? Let's see what that's. What's that? It, it's a it's a metaphor. Um, and a lot of people have been saying it for decades. Um, it says here, Father, forgive them for they know. What does it say? Um, for they know, for they do not know what they are doing. Okay, that's expired. Okay, that is expired. And. It no longer is relevant because we know what we are doing, whether we are unconscious or conscious. There's a knowing that a lot of people do not want to accept. You know right from wrong. You know when you're causing harm to people. We're not babies. And I say that in the, in, as far as the advancement of our consciousness in, during these times. Okay, we're not living in the 1600s. We're not living in the 1500s. Okay, but we want to behave and act and, and, and believe that, you know, we can, we can say, please forgive us for we know not what we do. Okay, that's, that's, um, that's a fallacy, and, and, and also that's a lie. That's a big lie. Okay, so anyone that is, if, if you understand night and day, space and time, the basic part of it, then you understand cause and effect. All right? Okay, so there's a lot of events coming forward for a lot of people, challenging. It's going to be a challenge unlike anything we've ever experienced before on this planet because of the culmination of where we are, the culmination point of where we are. You know, we get, you know, um, I mean, we're at a, we're at a, you know, at a, at a self-created space and time. Because supposedly space and time doesn't exist. Okay, that's for the, that's for the physics to help us to understand that. Okay, but here we are facing each other at this culmination, and it's and it has here. It says here final climactic stage, uh, the attainment of the highest point of altitude reached. By a heavenly body passes across, blah blah blah. Transit is another one. You know. We're at a certain navigation. Um, you know, we're just at a certain point in our lives. A lot of people are going to be faced with things that they've caused and now they're dealing with the effects of it. And so you can find yourself sitting there, uh, uh, you know, asking questions, hopefully asking questions of yourself, because a lot of us know better. A lot of us knew better. 
But we fe we felt like we were so clever and so sophisticated and so intelligent and so know it all that okay, it does n n nothing affects me because a lot of people are riding on this imaginary, uh, uh, you know, climbing of success. You know, this um, it's imaginary. It's a fantasy. It's a delusion. And so many people just feel, feel as though that they're untouchable. That, you know, that things don't happen to them. And, and you, you hear people say that too. Say, okay, I'm blessed. Please, please sit down somewhere and ask yourself, what the hell does that mean? Okay? Or, I'm highly favored. I'm chosen. Pay attention to those words you're using. And ask yourself, what the hell am I saying to myself? Why am I saying I'm chosen? Chosen for what? Now, if you, you know, just, just change up your language. Because I know some people who actually mean well. Just say, just say to yourself that I'm assisting humanity. I'm helping and assisting humanity. Okay. And not believe that, okay, it's, it's all on you though. That you only you can disseminate it. That it always coming from you. No, we are in this together. Okay, so share the knowledge, but don't hoard knowledge or information or whatever you're doing. And do not believe that you individually are chosen. Okay. So a lot of, like I said, a lot of people are going to be sitting in their own shit, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, where they're going to be asking the questions of how did I get here? Why am I here? Why do I keep ending up in the same space and time? And why am I, you know, because you're spinning in the same spot and you're not moving. Okay. I told you, um, uh, when a lot of people say raising their va vibration, well, it's like a horizontal raise, a natural horizontal vertical raise, you know. So, and all of us are on different levels, each individually. We're all individually, you know, making our contributions to humanity as well as taking responsibility, being held responsible and accountable for our behaviors and actions. Okay. We're, we're behavior for the cause and effects. So, just just stay tuned. Uh, the rest of us that are paying attention and being very honest about what really is going on. Protect yourself. Protect your consciousness. Make sure you are reading labels. Because what's happening is a lot of labeling that's being changed. You know, they'll throw out something that may be eye-catching, like, like calories, which is irrelevant, um, because when you read it, read the label, when you read the ingredients, and you know, you'll find that some, because I that happened a, a while back. I was, uh, I purchased this particular type of item, and I had been purchasing it, I bought it for months on end. And then one day I noticed that the packaging was changing, and then I and I had an old one, and I compared it to the new one, and the ingredients had com had changed as well. Pay attention. Okay, there's this one particular item that I used to I used to eat that like candy, because you know, because that's how they get us with the sweet taste of uh, of, of of things. And then one day I turned around and, and decided to read the ingredients, and it was almost over over half sugar there was no main ingredient in it that was that was required to call it a certain type of uh food product okay so and pay attention to items that have this long shelf life what ingredient is causing it to have such a long shelf life you know we really need to get into the the uh, the, the uh, challenging effects of our food. Okay, we need to really consider how to harvest proper fruits and vegetables because I purchased some fruit the other day, and 
you know, there's a difference. Okay, let's be honest and let's not keep, you know, nobody needs to know what you're doing. Start being your own investigator. You're being your own inspector and pay attention to what's happening right before our eyes. Okay, because these causes, because we're living in the effects more so than any other time in our lives. We're living in the consequences of things right now. And it's only going to get worse from here before it gets better. That's just how it rolls. So we're in a role of devastation. We're in a role of catastrophes. And a lot of people are not going to know what to do and, and not know how to protect themselves and protect their consciousness more so than anything because they're going to just be unraveling uh, you know these 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 um, these rumination of negativity, negativity, and they're not going to be able to con control it because they didn't put in the time to do so and be, and develop themselves to be able to handle negative situations just as well as positive. For some people, all they want is positive situations. They don't want to lose. They want to have all the money. They want all the material, the materialism of it all. They don't like to share. Again, they hoard, hoard, hoard. Whether they, whether it's physical stuff, material stuff, like property, cars, land, you know. And, and others also attempt to hoard everybody else's experience, too. They want to take on everybody's experience and claim it belongs to them so they can get all the attention and blah, blah, blah. It's childish, it's foolish, and it's dangerous. Okay, we are at dangerous moments in our lives. And I have to keep, um, um, let's put it this way. I put out the information that I put out. However you see it, since they receive it, is on you. If it's negative, see how you can neutralize it to make it positive. If it's positive, see how make sure that the negative is considered and neutralized as well. You have to look at things in a certain dynamic. It's not, as they say, not linear. Let me see what that stands for or what is that. Okay, uh, having only one dimension. Oh, definitely not. We're not one dimensional. Not at all. So just understand what all that means if you choose to. And, and, and have fun with this. Have fun with yourself. Don't take yourself so seriously. Because when you take yourself so seriously, you're actually quite boring. You know, you're quite boring. And I mean that you're offended easily. Everything offends you. You know, you you know, you, you know, you get all worked up about small things, you know, and you want to wreak habit and get people fired and you know take seeking revenge and retaliation. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you can't laugh at yourself. You know, everything is so serious. You're so important. Okay, that's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Remember, you are nothing, and that's the power. Once you understand what that means. Okay. So I'm going to stop right there uh, on this uh, on this Saturday morning, July the 6th, 2024. You know, I wanted to put some sounds in your ears about the power, the power of cause and effect. And you need to understand it each time you decide to participate in any type of activity. You know, just silently sit yourself back and say, okay, doing this activity is going to cause what? And what are the effects on me and others? No one has to know you're doing that. We need to, you know, if everybody talking about self-care, self-love. Okay, make sure you incorporate your thought process or your thinking modes in that as well. You know, a lot of it is going to be about silence and being in your aloneness, whether someone's here with you or not. You can do that to share with your partner, and I'm sure your partner will, will respect that. 
what the what okay the activity i'm about to participate in right now how is that going to affect blah you know ask those questions and no one has to know okay i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains universal love at the end of the day is all about universal love share it